as a child, I really wanted to help. <laughs> and um, I didn't see what I was looking for in what I was presented with. And so I spent a lot of my life looking for what I was looking for. <laughs> and, um, but for me, like, I just kept seeing more and more how like, my well-being wasn't in this. It's not in that. I don't, I don't want to participate in that. So it got like a little bit boring, actually. Like I just felt like more and more I just had this like fortress of like what I just didn't want, you know. And um, and I tried different, you know, alternative career path and going abroad and to to different foreign places to um, see different you know, teacher and and I think then. At some point, I did just feel like I just, I just really love people. I have no idea how to help anymore because all the things that I'm trying, like in other, like other practices and helping people to communicate better or with, you know, meditation and stuff. Um, I just saw that like none of these had lasting effects for myself or the other people that I so wished to support, and I just felt like. Um, like just to stop like I didn't know what to do and like that was my focus which was actually you know not so fun like it felt quite bleak and even though like my friends from at home might think that my life was really incredible and amazing and here I am off in these farm places is like I just had a sense of like I have no idea what to do or what I'm doing here or and um and so when I was um living in Thailand, I met someone who had been to India, who had completed the 12 empowerments. And she shared with me just a little bit about the training, because at that time I was getting really, like, really, like, like, rev, rev, revved up, I don't know, like, uh, like a lot of frustration with some of the circumstances in the community that I was living in. And I've always had such a strong passion and desire to see people living and working harmoniously together, and I just have always known that potential. And just over and over again, I just saw that that wasn't the case. And that wasn't what my experience was and what I was witnessing. And I didn't know how to support bringing that about. And, um, but when I spoke with this woman, there was just something in what she was sharing with me about the Balanced View Training that really made sense in my heart just to stop, you know, and just let it be. It was like, ah, OK. And so <laughs> when I went to um, England not, not long after that, I moved there. And um, I was fortunate to be moving really near to Bristol, where there was already a, quite a thriving community. And um, so I just right away went to the introductory training. And I was like, yeah, and I want to meet these people. And I'm just going to go there. And I was actually like a bit hysterical laughing like at the intro training, and then went on soon after to do the 12 empowerments. And we all laughed a lot. And um, it was like, um, it was like a great relief, and I could, I really can't say that I understood it, but like I did also, and I, um, the 12 empowerments, like it didn't resolve everything for me. It didn't bring me, like, you know, work out everything in my life that I was looking for to be worked out. I didn't, I didn't see all of a sudden this is my life purpose, and this is da 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 da. But I could say that. Um, over time and since then, like, it's sort of like this sense of like, I like that analogy of like the dial turning up and like this warm glow that's just pervading more and more of my experience to the point that now like, um, I just feel so well, like I just feel so well whatever's happening and um, I feel so grateful for all the life experiences which have really like challenged and tested me. And I feel like it just feels so natural to just like be alive and be with all of you and with everyone and with life like in such a full way. And like a lot of the questions that I had that felt so huge and like the confusions, they're just not my focus right now anymore. And like, so I just really am enjoying. <laughs> and um, I just love, love working together with um, the community and the teams, and I, I have since like moved, just decided I absolutely wanted to spend time just living with community, and I moved to Bristol, and 
yeah, it's just been completely supportive and so empowering. Like, there is nothing that has been more empowering in my life, so directly and obviously empowering. And I didn't even recognize it step by step along the way. But when I look back over like three months, how much my own experience and my relationship and my deep respect for myself and just like myself taking those steps to put that into action, you know, to take the courage to make choices that really supported me to flourish and to flower is like, um, I feel so um, like easy and just feel so right to like take care of myself in that way and then just know that now I just see I just have so much more capacity to be of benefit in the way that I always wished 